Can I tell you about Susie? Uh, well, she was the really lovely girl that she appears to have been. She was a very positive person. She was very thoughtful, jolly good fun. I always remember one day Diana talking to her in her kitchen, chiding her for doing too much. And she answered straight away, come on, Mum, life's for living. That's what it's all about. And in a way, that's a lovely message which I like to be left with. Susie had fairly recently started to work for an estate agent as a negotiator and the office of office in Fulham had phoned to say that Susie hadn't come back after lunch and they didn't know where she was. Was she perhaps at home? Well, of course she wasn't at home. But, of course, in those days, before the trust was formed, obviously, uh, we didn't think about principles of personal safety. And certainly, Susie didn't. And I remember Diana saying, I have a dreadful feeling that something awful has happened. And uh, it makes me tingle now. The awful situation of Susie had gone uh, with absolutely no, leaving no indication of what had happened. We have actually no idea. Sadly, after Susie disappeared, we, one feels an enormous urge to, to do something. Do you want to sort of create something to take the place of the void? We hadn't got Susie and we were still we, for several years searching for her, but we needed something else to be positive about. A friend, I remember, he came and said, it's a good opportunity to start a charity. And what we were doing was helping people to handle aggression and violence. We started off a small office in this house. I mean, at one time we had 14 people working here. We, even at one stage, I thought it was really terrible. We had a, a desk in our own bedroom, but we got rid of that pretty quickly. And then we had, we, we've got a, a, a shed at the end of the garden. We put carpet on the floor and added telephones. We had computers down there and so on. It's now rather overgrown, but it was from this office that uh, we ran the uh, training around the whole country. The fact is that personal safety has become something which many people recognise, and I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of what we have achieved in, in that way. Diana would have been enormously proud, and she'd be delighted that it's still going strong. It's for you. We are working for you and the people who are important to you, for your children, for your grannies, for your staff. But I still think that the work that we do for children and young people is the most important of the work that we do because uh, it, it, it lasts for life. Once you've learned 
personal safety. You, you, you have it below it.